Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2023 Bowman's Best Baseball 8 box. Pick your team number 5 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All card ship. There's the case right there. Thank you and good luck everybody here on Monday the 22nd. I'll read the 22nd. Thanks everyone. If you have up next year, up 5 next year, that means you won that team in the filler. Uh, Shane, you ended up with the Last Spot Mojo star next to your name. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. First box, box one. Four autos a box. Which is an excellent deal. A lot of prospects. Bowman, obviously, so a lot of good prospecting in here. Chasing after future stars. Coco Goff moving on in the Australian Open. And then we're going to see, uh, I think on this channel, we're going to see, yeah, coming up, Novak. Novak Djokovic versus American Taylor Fritz. Go Taylor Fritz, America. I wonder what the odds are for Taylor Fritz to win this match. I can't, it can't be very good. Novak's pretty unstoppable in, in general, and especially at the Australian Open. Novak's minus a thousand. <laughs> All right, there's Caden Wallace. We'll start off with a royal. That's going to be for Kevin. We'll never be royals, royals. Not numbered. And of course, we'll do a uh, we'll do a recap at the end. Nice Gunnar Henderson masterpiece. Your AL Rookie of the Year award winner. I love these shellacked. There's Cam Collier. Freddie Freeman gold to 50. Some of those shellacks can be autographed, which is nice. Here is Samuel Basayo. EA with the O's on the board early. We got a reel to reel mini diamond. Davis Martin's a white sock. There's Matt Olson. And a red Mookie Betts. 10 out of 10. Nice low number on that. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. Todd with my Dodgers. These look real nice. And a redemption. Dual autograph, Volpe and Peraza. Nice one, Yankees. Tristan. Wish, wish this was live, but it's good to see a dual auto. Whose fault is this? Who's usually not signing their cards? I feel like Peraza signs, right? Is it Volpe, maybe? I feel like he's more redemption than Peraza. But a nice one, nonetheless. 
Got a Francisco Alvarez shellacked and a Aqua Lava Mike Trout to 199. Just all by himself on the Angels. And who's who's really hitting around him anymore? There's a uh, Dernish Valdez, although he's healthy, could be an MVP season pretty easily for him. Kevin with the Cubs. Nice, there's Corbin Carey, your NL Rookie of the Year. Although there's Logan O'Hoppy. These wave parallels are not numbered. And the him insert. I'm him! Francisco Alvarez, that's going to be for Robert, who won the Mets in the filler. These are short prints. I think these fall just maybe one per case, maybe even more short print than that. There are autograph versions of that too. And there's Tyler Freeman for the Guardians. Good first box. I feel like if Jokovic is minus 1,000, Taylor Fritz should be more than plus 600. If you're not familiar with it, those odds. So Fritz at plus 600 means he's, uh, what, 60 to 1? No, 6 to 1? To win. I feel like it should be a little bit higher. I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of good value there, but for Jokovic at minus 1,000, that means you have to hypothetically put down $1,000 to win $100. So if, if, you're, uh, if you're decent with numbers, you know, it's probably not, not the best investment. That, does, who, does anyone remember that story? Remember when the Chargers blew that playoff game a couple years ago, or last year, against the Jaguars? And there was a story where someone had put at halftime or something, had put down thousands of dollars on the Chargers to win, and they were like super huge favorites. There wasn't really wasn't anything. I mean, it was a lot of money to risk just to get so little back. The guy lost it. I mean, that's just... Two things went through my head when that happened. Thing one, I was just like... I was like, I felt bad for the guy. Then I, then I stopped and was just like, wait. I mean, unless this guy was insane and used his last, you know, last dollars to, to do something like that. But I would think that this is someone who's very well off, right? Who has the money to burn like that? So then I was like, I guess he's, I guess he's in decent shape. Uh, Matt Shaw to 250. That's for Kevin and the Cubs. And for the Brew Crew, Daniel Guiarte. 16 out of 50 gold autograph for Omar and the Brewers. I miss Nick Kyrgios. Why, why is he not playing? Nice Jackson Holiday shellac. And there's Brailler Guerrero for uh, Michael G. And the Rays. Got the Rays straight up. Gabriel Moreno, Diamondbacks, and Pete Alonzo to 99. It's for Robert and the Mets. And there's Davison Gutierrez for Robert and the Mets. So how has Kershaw still not signed? I think there's really no rush for Kershaw to sign. There's Mike Trout, green mini diamonds, because he had that shoulder surgery and 
won't be playing until, uh, won't even be rehabbing until the middle of the season anyway, June or July. Or Drew Jones mini diamonds. So I think he's just taking his time. Future star for the Diamondbacks, Kuz with that one. And we got a Davis and De Los Santos for Cruz. There you go, Cruz. You know, I think Kershaw's still trying to figure out. Does he? I don't. I don't think he's need unless there's some serious setbacks in his in rehab in his rehab. There's Norhe Vera for the White Sox. Randy Johnson. Took these portrait photos. I don't think he's in any, any danger of retiring. You know, so I think he's just trying to figure out if there's setbacks in his rehab, maybe he just takes the year off. I could see him doing that. Or maybe he's just weighing his options. Does he want to play half a season, you know, with the, with the Dodgers? Does he want to play half a season with the Rangers? Those are probably the only two teams he's going to play for. Yeah, I don't know. I think he'd. I think he'd really only go to two teams. He's either going to retire, play half a season with the Dodgers, which is most likely, and a little less likely, but possible is, is. Uh, so it's probably Dodgers. Rangers retire in terms of what's most likely to happen in order of what's most likely to happen. Obviously, he's earned the right to uh, do whatever he wants. Or, I mean, I don't know. I could see him just being like, am I only playing half a season? Maybe I'll play half a season uh, with the Rangers. Stay, stay at home while I'm doing that. And then maybe play a full season with the Dodgers next year if I want to come back, if he's healthy. So we'll see. And you know, I've got a feeling that with, with all those new faces on the team, Otani, Yamamoto, et cetera, et cetera, you would think that Kershaw would want to be part of that. <laughs> You know, maybe try to add another World Series ring to his resume before he rides off into the sunset in Dallas. There's Jacob Reimer. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier today. Snell, Jordan Montgomery, Cody Bellinger still out there. Robert with the Mets. I, mean, I think both Snell and Bellinger are looking for, for giant deals. There's Rushman Shellact. And a Daniel Montesino for the Padres. Cassandra for the Friars. But I don't blame teams for being a little hesitant. You know, Bellinger, you know, is he completely healthy? You know, there's Corbin Carroll. You know, was last year what's going to be going forward, or is that an aberration? Is he going to get re-injured again? Who knows? I think there's questions there. Blake Snell, also somewhat inconsistent. When he does have a good year, it's I young caliber, but the years in between are, are, are you know, are solid, but does it, does it get number one pitcher money? Here's Kenny Gomez for the Strohs. That's going to be for Jimmy. That's with the spot that you won in the filler, Jimmy. That Drew Jones is a refractor. Let's say one of those. Christian Vaccaro for Chad and the Nats. Aqua Lava, 49 out of 199. 
Gabriel Moreno reveals a Brailler Guerrero, 41 out of 99. Michael Golder with the Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah, I feel like that as time goes on, I feel like that's that seems to be more and more likely, right? That Cody Bender will end up back with Chicago, maybe on a, on a, even on a short deal or something like that. Brian Rocchio to two ninety nine for Cleveland. This is for you. It'll be for Evan. Won that in the filler and EA with the O's. Because if the market, you know, if the market isn't robust for Cody Bellinger and his services, there's no reason why Chicago needs to, or the Cubs need to rush, bid against themselves. That'd be silly. Bellinger's probably looking for a six, seven year deal. I think he's a Boris, Scott Boris client, right? Fox Sports, Rowan Kavner saying Matt Chatham to the Giants and Montgomery to Texas. What, is, this, is this speculation or is this what he believes or is this what sources are telling him? Or is, he, is that just a prediction? This is a core, but I mean, this is like a prediction. I can make predictions too. Or does he actually have some some sources? I don't know. Even then, oh, it's his predictions. All right, that's. I can give you predictions too. It's worth about the same. Is Gabriel Rinconis? I say Hoskins. Reese Hoskins to the Giants. This is Gabriel and Conus to the Phillies. Robert. Corbin Carroll masterpieces. Colin Hawk, Shellac. These, some of these can be autographed too. Nice fell name, Celestin, mini diamonds to 299, one of the Mariners' top prospects can go to Ryan in Seattle. And next autograph, Nelson Rada. Cassandra. Yeah, well, I mean, they might. It's a tricky time of the year because I think a lot of times, you know, Seattle, um, I think a lot of times you'll have, you'll have sports agents and owners and GMs and players and players' friends who will who will feed journalists or you know media outlets information or false information just to I don't know you want to create a bidding war you want to do this or that nice Junior Caminero you know put some pressure on some teams create some leverage here and there so it's hard to really. It's hard to really think, you know what I mean? Tampa Bay Rays, Michael Golder. Sometimes it's hard to see where uh, any of these players are really going to go, how much of that information is really true until, until like, Jeff Passan officially announces it or something like that. Nice Ethan Solace. Autograph behind him. Ethan Solace, 16 out of 199. Aqua Lava. That's for Cassandra and the Padres, their big prospect, up-and-coming prospect. And we got a nice Elijah Green autograph. That is for Chad and the Nationals. Chad winning that in the 
Update filler. There you go, Chad. Nice. Still gives me the Cardinals have just sat on their thumbs. Yeah, I thought the Cardinals would be a little more active. Maybe they were. And just struck out on some free agents. There's a good chance that, that the Cardinals may just be sitting there going, you know what, we, we like our team. And they do have a decent farm system. They do have some youngsters coming up the ranks. Maybe this is their let's see what the kids can do year. You know, they still have guys like Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt in the middle of that lineup. That's still pretty strong. You know, they did get Sonny Gray. I don't know if Lanson's going to do much, but they did get Sonny Gray. They still have Miles Mikolas. Might have a pitching prospect or two that they might want to promote. Not too familiar with their bullpen, but they got some arms in there. Yeah, I mean, so. Wilson Contreras as your catcher, Paul Goldschmidt's your first baseman, you know, Nolan Gorman, Tommy Edmond got some couple of young players there, I guess Gorman, Tommy Edmond's a little bit older than I thought, Arenado's still, uh, still at third base, you know, you can, Mason Wynn, another youngster, still got Dylan Carlson, Lars Nufar, Jordan Walker. You know, whatever youngsters they have coming up the ranks. I feel like maybe they're confident with their team. Maybe they're going to be more in the trade market in the middle of the season than the free agent market. All right, we got Mario Shendrick Martinez for my Dodgers. That's going to go to Todd with the boys in blue. Another Corbin Carroll. We got a Jackson Churio Shellac. And we got a gold Zach Nito. There's usually an autograph behind that. Yeah, there is. Stay tuned for that. Four out of 75. Or is that a yellow parallel? Out of 75. So either way, that's going to go to Cassandra and the Halos. All right. And Axel Sanchez. Ryan, Mariners. We got uh, for the White Sox, and we got a Gunnar Henderson base for EA and the O's, and nice shellac on card auto. Ninety seven out of two fifty. That's going to be Felnin Celestin. I feel like there's one of these sort of special insert autographs per case around there. Maybe one every other case. Very nice. Ryan with the Mariners. Riley Green Masterpieces. Matt McLean Astral Projections. And we got a die cut autograph popping here. Real to real. Yoendri Vargas. 140 out of 150 for the Dodgers. Todd with the Dodgers.
Nice. So we kind of kind of two special autographs in there. There's a Matt Shaw shellact. Real to real Aaron Judge, Edward Julian, mini diamonds to two ninety nine. And the Julienne will go to the Twins. That'll be for Nancy, one of the Twins in the filler. Now, I think someone else mentioned the same thing, too, that, that, that there's a more of a cosmic feel to Bowman's vest this year. That's, that's where it's leaning. I like it. Point in the set hasn't even been scored yet. Oh, it's still a deuce. Come on, Fritzy. Oh, come on, Fritzy. You got the that side of the court wide open. Yeah, I agree. I, th I think sometimes this is sort of a slow fill just because it's, it's mostly pro it's prospecting. But for those, of, for those collectors who are prospectors, yeah, this is a, this is a great price point. A ton of autos in, in every case. So it's really nice. It's out. Mm. Jokovic and American Taylor Fritz playing Australian Open quarterfinal. A tall task for for Fritzy, but let's see if he can pull off the uh, the upset, the impossible. All right, there's a uh, Henry Bolt. That is for the A's. That's going to be for Robert, who won it in the won that team in the filler. Tommy Troy Purple, 94 out of 250. There's a Max Clark Shellact. And a Hector Rodriguez for the Reds. Last spot mojo, Shane. Got the Reds straight up. The last team picked up straight up before we pulled the remaining teams for the filler. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Oscar Colas for the White Sox. We got a blue CJ Abrams and a uh, Nika Puka Grego. Robert with the Phillies. Won that team in the filler. Chad with the Nats gets the CJ Abrams. To 150. And an Anthony Volpe Astral Projections Mini Diamond. I don't think that's numbered, but it's a sharp looking parallel, I think. Volpe, Tristan with the Yankees. We've got a Shellac Junior Caminero. And we got another Elijah Green. 26 out of 150 for Chad and the Nationals. Won that team in the filler. And Elijah Green has got to be, I think he was, he's only 20 years old. I think he was a top 10 pick. Fifth overall pick in 2022. Hard 
All right. I think Joey Votto's still not signed yet, right? Someone's going to pick him up, right? Reggie Crawford for the Giants. Mike Trout, mini diamond to 299. 252 out of 299. Joey Votto may not possess the Joey Votto powers of, of your. I feel like, where would Joey Votto fit? I suppose he could fit any, I mean, maybe a, a young team that could use some veteran leadership, the presence of a Joey Votto. would be pretty cool. Could he be a sort of, with his personality, his friendly personality, could he be the glue guy on a team with a lot of superstars, maybe like the Dodgers? You know, the Mets. New York would love Joey Votto. The levity of a Joey Votto. Maybe the Blue Jays. It's Canadian, right? I mean, I'm not sure he's getting everyday playing time with some of the star-studded teams, but... Joey Votto, good presence. It might be just worth a salary just to be a good presence in the locker room. Oh, Fritz did win that point. Nice. there folks the penultimate box coming your way and we got another junior Caminero for Michael Golder at the Tampa Bay Rays nice Wyatt Lankford shellacked for Texas. Tristan. Adley Rushman, mini diamonds, is going to reveal a Randy Johnson autograph. There's Adley Rushman to 299 for EA. And for the White Sox, Oscar Colas, 23 out of 25. The Randy Johnson, the Bowman, what is it? 1992 Bowman by Randy Johnson. Autograph card, mini diamond, 23 out of 25. I feel like I'm calling out like a football player or something like that. Green, 90, mini diamond, 192. Bowman, Randy Johnson. Randy, Randy. Is that right? That'll be for the White Sox. Gary, got the White Sox straight up. Matt Mervis for the Cubs. And then we got Leover Paguero for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Barry with the buck goes. The Pirates. Gunnar Henderson, shellacked. And then we got Brock Jones, the Brock Lobster. Do, 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 do. Michael Golder with that one. MG. There you go, Michael. Thanks for grabbing your team straight up. Appreciate you. And we got a Roderick Arias, Aqua Lava to 199. Tristan and the Yankees. There's Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox and an Estuary Ruiz on the back right there. All right, final box coming up, final four autos. Quick little recap, and then we'll see what else we can do. Uh, I do see a couple orders coming in, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll check those orders. We'll see uh, which 
check the orders and we'll see if we can maybe do another break before we call it a night. We're in the last hour of the show, folks. By the time this is all said and done, we'll probably be, probably have 45 minutes left. So if you want to get into something, start grabbing your spots and maybe we can get another thing going before we call it. I just saw the, a message from Nick. He says that last case of Bowman's Best that I found, we can post that for YouTube. So. Uh, wait until after this box and after I uh, print the labels and put everything away and post a video, blah, 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 blah. Just wait a few moments after that. I'm posting a fresh case and then you can get your team. So if you keep missing your teams, stick around. Jaspiescasebreaks.com is where it'll be. Know that wearing a hat? I feel like he's not a hat guy. Hmm. All right, the auto usually pops early. There it is, Spencer Jones. 11 out of 150. Nice one for Tristan and the Yankees. Got the Yankees straight up. There's a blue Matt Mervis, a little color match there with the Cubs to 150. Kevin with the Cubs. We got a nice Ethan Salas shellacked for Cassandra and the Padres. And Dean Jorge for the Rockies. Raymond with the Rocks. That's mini diamonds coming up. It's shellacked mini diamonds, Felnine Celestin. Another nice one for Ryan. Lucas Giolito. And the last mini stack. Ooh, Fritz up 2 1 now. Nice. All right, behind Volpe is a nice Cam Collier. Last spot, Mojo Shane. That's to 75, 22 out of 75. With the lava pattern in the background. Nice. Got a shellac Drew Jones. Jackson Churio to 250 for Omar and the Brewers. And an Axel Sanchez Mariners autograph. Looks like that's the fourth and final, unless we get a bonus. That'll be for Ryan and the M's. And the last little bit, what do we got? Got a Corbin Carroll reel-to-reel -reel die cut. A Michael Toglia. And an Anthony Rizzo at the very end. Excellent work, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for, for putting in the work on this and finishing off this case. There will be another case, so keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you're watching live, stick around, because that's gonna happen after I finish this video, and you're gonna want to grab your teams if you missed them the first time. All right, quick little recap. The Cam Collier is nice, the Spencer Jones. Got all sorts of nice stuff here. The blue Elijah Green. Right, the real to real Andre Vargas, the Celestin, uh, Shellac autograph. Got some nice inserts, some Camineros, some Corbin Carrolls, some some color autos, the him insert, 
That dual autograph, Volpe Peraza. Don't forget about that. That went to Tristan. The out of 10 Mookie bets. Red, 10 out of 10. A lot of great stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next Bowman's Best Break. Bye-bye.